working on the pirate right here, the interceptor. There's no more 10 shooter, no more micro X. We have a crawl master mini V2 and a three brothers RC outrunner. Guys, let's get to the table. And here it is. Now this motor is censored. I'm not using the sensor plug because the crawl master mini V2 is not a sensor DSC. Now the goal here is to try to make this thing quiet but I got a feeling it's gonna be in that steel 48 pitch pinion gear or steel 48 pitch spur gear and pinion gear. I got a feeling it's still gonna be a little bit loud, but hopefully, hopefully we can quiet this thing up just a little bit. Let's go. And let's see how this thing's gonna pull. I'm about to put a different spur gear on this thing. That metal 48 pitch is just so loud. Control feels good. The Holmes ESC. I've tried a couple others off camera and um, I'm still on the Holmes ESC. Let me see here, come on. Now these VXT tires, they, as they break in, I don't think they're getting any better. If that makes any sense. Now here's the dig option here. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and try Crowley. Just because I really want to try this thing. And I happen to be here. Whether or not I can just turn this thing around and make it up, I have no idea, but we're gonna try. Wow, looks like uh, pretty darn maneuverable here. So anyway, let's see if these VXTs can get the hold. I kind of hope they do. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can go a little bit far, farther to the left. Now this axle, I was kind of hoping maybe I'd be able to get a tire up on the edge with the capper being so wide. on it I don't think we're going to quite get the hook to do that let me try to get this front left side up on top of it if I can get that tire to hook just like oh come on I was right there oh it was right there you guys saw that tire was up on the edge Oh, come on, come on, come on, got it. I got it, yes. Nice. Huh, took a little bit of work, but it made it. Let's see how fast this is. Not very fast. This is only 2100 kV, so, but let's continue on right here. It's definitely got a lot of driveline noise and that is in that Amazon <laughs> transmission. <laughs> I'm offline. I'm kind of happy I made Crowley with it. So everything else here is just kind of a bonus for me. <laughs> uh, the crawl control is just beautiful. So I do kind of think that the Micro X has a little bit more punch than what the homes can deliver. And I may have to try that, but then you're gonna have, even though it is quieter than the uh, Mamba X per se, I was hoping that would make the dig and come up there, but it didn't. That looks like we're gonna be okay right here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna have to punch it and get this thing to bounce up onto that. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. Got it. Now this particular spot right here, this is beautiful for using dig. Because it allows that front end to pull good and tight. And if you don't use dig or have a lot of massive overdrive, you get into a nasty pinch right there. I mean, heck. I think I like it better with this setup than with the in runner. 
honestly, it's quieter even though the transmission's loud. The system is quieter. And as usual, no test is complete without the crack of doom. Wide front, 10-3 narrow rear. I kind of like how that's set up where the servo horn and all is kind of behind the body. Uh, yes, we're going to make that. Bring this down right here. So long as that front end stays in place, the back end is coming in a little high. Looks like it's gonna pull down into it. Got it. Now we're gonna to try to take the hard way out, which there's no easy way in all honesty. But with the rain, things might be a little bit excessively slick. Oh boy. I think I'm toast. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha, toast. I knew it as soon as this thing started going to the left. And one last climb, just because I want to try this, is the cliffhanger. Come on, VXT, stick it. You got it. Now, this is where having a slider is handy because you're going to be all into the slider right there. And now, let's see if I can somehow manage to get a one-shot climb on this. Look at that back tire. That thing is wrapping pretty darn good here. Now, if that front end can make the pull, and if I can get a rotation here, as in, like, this spot right here, this back tire needs to come off of it. Look at the crawl control. Look at that. I don't think it's going to go. Ah, uh, I let up a little bit. And it settled back down and I got it. It's done, it's over. Beautiful. Look at uh, Mr. Squirrely over there. Yeah. Sam's not here anymore, so they're a little more bold. Yeah. I'd rather have Sam, though. Uh, when you just don't know what happened, you know, makes you think I should have put a tracker on him or kind of makes you wonder. But oh well, I think we're uh, done with the crawl. This thing done absolutely great. So much less motor noise on this thing. I mean, really, um, less motor noise. The ESC, great, great control, even without the censored part and all that. Uh, motor, plenty, plenty good enough. But that pinion and spur gear, the transmission is so loud. I got to do some work on that. And that's coming up soon. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned on that. I'm going to try to fit a Kimbro spur gear on this thing. If I can make that work, it's going to be quiet. Guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. I'm going to link up all kinds of stuff down below. And you know what? Thank you guys for watching because you're awesome. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.